Well, and so from then on, when the doctor would come in, after six weeks, we went back and the doctor uh, told me, he says, man, he says, this medicine has done so amazing, you know. And Jim told me, he says, Doc, he said, what did I tell you the first time I came in here? And, and Dr. Thompson said, oh, yeah. He said, the Lord in this medicine really did for me. So from then on, every time we would go, and, and Dr. Thompson would say, you know, how good the medicine was doing, Jim would look at him and he'd say, I know, the Lord in this medicine. And Jim said, that's right. Um, today, it is a great honor for us to be here and for his family to be here. And we pre appreciate the recognition that, we, that he's gotten today. Uh, of course, me being his wife, I've always thought he has to deserve this, and, and uh, I know a lot of y'all have thought the same thing. Um, he would be more proud, though, of his players. They become responsible men, husbands, fathers, business owners, uh, coaches, teachers, professional men, and they set good examples to others. And that was Jim's goal in life, was to make sure that the people's lives that he touched, he left in a better way than they were before, he, before they met him. If he were here today, he would tell all of us to live our lives as an example of Christ. You don't have to preach it, you just have to live it. I want to thank all of y'all for coming out today. And thank you so much for this honor. And um, uh, you'll never know how much it means. And um, these guys, uh, like I said, you had to be with us all these years. But these guys that played, they weren't just our football players. They were our kids. And to be able to stand out there today and hug their necks uh, means more than you know. I want to thank all of you again for coming. Uh, Please know that there are refreshments in the alumni room. Also, um, uh, they, we are going to have, in the middle of the two uh, buildings over here, um, a gentleman, and he's here, I see him right there. He uh, broke his arm, so he's, he didn't get to do what he was going to do. But in the middle of the two, uh, between the alumni room and the concession stand, he's going to etch in concrete and in Glenfiss cars a horseshoe with a big hole in the middle of it. And at the top, it's going to be Coach Jim Wilson's and at the bottom, Sports Complex. So if you're ever out this way again and you'd like to come by and see it, and thank you so much for doing that for us. We really appreciate it. And we're sorry you got hurt. But again,